Hello everybody, uh, this is Kunal coming with a new video. After a while, I've been kind of busy taking care of my health and uh, just uh, meditating and thinking a lot, reading sometimes. Doing some rapping, going out in nature, Mount Baldy, Azusa, and so forth. Uh, it's really good to go out in the mountains where the streams are and the rivers are. Because that's where you get fresh air and fresh water. You can take a bath, you can smoke, you can uh, just enjoy nature, hang out with friends, eat and so forth, have a picnic. Um, but today I was going to speak about uh, why, uh, today was going to be a MGTOW speech because it's, it's like why um, I feel the Indian way of arranged marriages is superior to the American free for all free love. Now, uh, women and men are obviously different in the dating world. Women have much more options and men have very few scarce uh, opportunity in comparison. And especially in their 20s, uh, when guys are the most uh, sexually active, uh, that's when they have the least uh, chances. So, uh, so thinking about that, I just thought that how Power corrupts and abs they say power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So um, it's not good to give power to somebody who doesn't earn it. Because this is something I read in Don Juan, Don Juan's book, that it's not good to give power to uh, well somebody who gets power very young, very easily, very quickly without any effort. Uh, it goes to their head, and they become kind of uh, spoiled and uh, rotten and very disagreeable and tyrannical creatures and if you look at a young hot woman and their behavior and their um, psychopathic uh, actions uh, constant uh, numerous psychopathic actions um, and you analyze why this is happening it's the same thing you give power to the people very young who don't deserve it and it goes to their head and they become monsters and that's what we see with the kids today who have all this power over adults. They can just call the cops and lock you up if they say he was abusive. And same with the young woman, or women in general, because they're also a protected class, which means they're a class that is used by the government to keep the majority in check. So young women, they, uh, they have the freedom to date whoever they want, sleep with whoever they want. Um, get whatever they want from whoever they want uh, so that power goes to their head and corrupts them and ruins them and doesn't allow them to be hard-working and so forth now in arranged marriages the and a culture where promiscuity is not allowed and free love is not allowed uh, in that culture the young women who are attractive and have a lot of beauty power through their beauty um, they're not allowed to misuse their power by uh, you know uh, having a harem and uh, abusing multiple guys and uh, getting what they want from a multiple guys they have to be loyal to one man and uh, they have to follow certain uh, sexual uh, mores <clears throat> so today it's the exact opposite and that's why we see all this dysfunction in society and all this corruption and all this uh, injustice is because the ones who are given the power did not uh, rightfully deserve that power uh, still got it and got way too much power and it's just a bad uh, downward spiral from here on. So that was my thoughts on why arranged marriages and keeping uh, dating and free love in check is useful for society. It puts the people who are just and fair and uh, with character and with uh, experience in the positions of power instead of the young, foolish and naive and greedy. In power. So this is Kunal taking out uh, on why arranged marriages are superior to free love system of the West. I uh, hope you uh, found some interesting things to, uh, stimulating things to think about, uh, some ideas to ponder over in this lockdown times. Uh, have a good rest of the day. Uh,